Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another video. So for today's video, I've decided to film a huge court beauty, beauty bay, boots, morph, morph, I don't know how you say it, um, haul. Basically a whole new makeup bag haul. So I went online um, about a week ago and did a huge shop, spent a lot of money. <laughs> Um, because basically I needed a whole new makeup bag. I'm not really into makeup that much. Well, I wasn't. I never really wear makeup. I get my lashes done and I've had my eyebrows microbladed. So I didn't really feel the need to wear makeup. However, quite recently I've started to get into it a bit more. I got my makeup done recently, which I did vlog. And I love seeing like all the different brands and stuff like that and what all the different types of makeup I guess you'd say and I was quite intrigued so I did a bit of research spoke to the girl who did my makeup and asked my friends and basically got a whole range of ideas of what I should get what's good what's not good what brands and this is what I ended up with so these are the two massive parcels from however first i am going to start with a few bits that i got from boots which i actually got before these two parcels came so i thought i'd just include them in the video because it is part of my whole new like makeup collection firstly i got this soap and glory body scrub which is smash brown sugar sweet lime almond oil and macadamia grains i've had this scent before i think in a body spray and it's amazing so i got this like obviously to rub my tan off um, because my the one I did have the body scrub is uh, ran out. I also got a makeup remover, which I've heard is really good, um, and the Speed Plump moisturiser. See, I I've used this for years and it's amazing. I've never used anything else on my face, so I obviously went to go get that, but it was three for two, so I just got these to try as well. I got this Nip and Fab Dragon's Blood plumping serum i've not tried this before but so i thought i'd give it a go it was on offer as well which is from like 19.99 to 9.99 so i thought i might as well give it a go lastly i got this real techniques beauty blender just because i thought well i'm getting a whole new makeup so i might as well get a new blender as well and obviously loads of people have these so i assume they must be good <laughs> okay so the first box i'm going to go and open is the cool beauty box get into it so the bits i got in here were a bit more high-end and more expensive so first up i just got two little freebies that i got to choose in it i got a charlotte tilbury matte lipstick and a collagen deep cream which i'll try these out so first of all i got this becca velvet blurring primer this is what the girl who did my makeup on me used and it felt dead nice on my skin. So the bottle just looks like that. And that was on offer for £14. I can't remember how much it was reduced from. So that's the primer. Also, I think it's called Becca. Obviously I'm not really into my whole makeup so I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of this right. So just ignore me if I'm not. Next up I got this Charlotte... No. I got this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and um, this came in two shades and I got the more light one because I think the other one was more orangey tone so this is what it looks like it's just a translucent setting powder this is also what Molly used on me to do my makeup and I read quite a good few reviews on about this that was £30 which is obviously a bit more pricey but it is quite a big tub and I reckon this would take me a lot of time to get through next i got this iconic prep set and glow spray now this oh my god wait till you see the bottle is incredible the bottle sold me it's like this amazing shiny gold color with all glittery bits in so you can use this to prep your face and then set it after, I believe. That was £20.50p. Next up, I got this Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. A lot of my friends told me this was amazing. 
and then I also did a bit of research on it and yeah apparently it is so when my lashes come off I don't think I'm gonna get any more and I'll just be using this oh it does look good and I'll give a go with this this was this was £19 so quite pricey for mascara but if the reviews are as good as they say they are then it's probably worth the money and then last thing from Cult Beauty is this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand. So this is a highlighter which Molly also used to do my makeup. And it just went on so well on top of foundation. So it comes in this really nice gold tube. And if I can open it. it has this little sponge applicator on the top. And I'm really excited to try that as well. That one was... God, that was £29. <laughs> Oops. So that was everything from Cool Beauty. Next, I did a order just for the foundation of Morphe. Is it Morphe or Morphe? I don't know. I'm going to sound like a knob if I'm saying the wrong thing. I'm going to go Morphe. That's what I'm going to say from now on. I got this more foundation, which also Molly used on my face when she did my makeup. They didn't have this on Beauty Bay or Cool Beauty Day, so I had to do a separate order from the website. And it just looks like this. It was only £16, which I think is really good value for foundation. And I got it in the colour F1.120 Matte, and that's the Fluidity Foundation. And oh my god, it just went on my skin. Amazing. You don't even need much. So this will probably last me a while as well. Next, we move on to the huge Beauty Bay parcel. This box is insane. I might just keep the box. So I got this Morph palette. The 350S1 Na no, Nature Glow Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. These were only £15. They had quite a few palettes on there for £15, which I was really shocked at. Because I always thought the palettes were like 30 quid upwards. But this one was £15 and it's got some amazing colours, which I will most definitely use. It's got really nice orangey browns, golds, which is like the sort of colours I wear. Oh my god, I've just found this on the floor. I thought I was missing something from the Cool Beauty one. I also got this Benefit Brow Pencil, which is called Precisely My Brow. A lot of beauty, like, vloggers, bloggers that I watch and read have raved about this. So I thought I'm going to have to try it. So it comes in a little pen like this. And I got it in the shade... I think I got it in the dark, darkest shade because I've got quite dark hair. And the strokes that it's meant to produce are meant to be really realistic. And it's 12 hour wear and waterproof. So I'm excited to give that a try. I know I've got my eyebrows microbladed, but sometimes I like to fill them in. You know, if you're doing like a full face of makeup, because it can look a bit bare if not. I got this BH Cosmetics Signature Rose Gold Brush Set. So, I did a little bit of research on brushes and there was just too many. It panicked me. So, I thought to start off with, I'm just going to get a simple brush set with everything in. And these were only £25 for a whole brush piece set. It's got 13 pieces. And they are really good quality. They're so soft. Obviously, they'll be put to the test when I actually put makeup on. And they come in this little nice box with a little rose gold plate on the front. So I thought just like to start off and you don't really know what you're doing. These would be perfect. Oh my god, they're so soft. So as I was check, that's all I was going to get from Beauty Bay. I was just checking out fit with them. And I saw at the side it said Revolution. Now I'm a massive Revolution fan. I didn't know Beauty Bay did it. I always go to Superdrug and get it. I think it's so good affordable good quality so i kind of like went back on everything i said so i just did this massive expensive makeup haul um i was trying to go a bit more high end with my makeup and then i saw all this and i just couldn't resist so i had to get a few bits just just to keep me stocked up i got a few new bits that i haven't tried as well before 
So, first of all, I got this bake and finish brush. So it's got like a fluffy end on this end and a sponge end because I'm gonna learn how to bake. Don't know what it is, but I think I'm gonna do it. I've seen loads of people on videos talk about it and I have no idea what they mean. So I thought this brush <laughs> might be able to help me. That was six pounds. Next up, I got this Focus and Fix Eyebrow Shaping Kit. So I got this in the darkest color. It's just got uh, three different powders and a gel for your eyebrows. This was £2.50. I know I obviously got my Benefit Brow uh, pencil as well, but I thought I'd just get this as well because it's a nice compact thing. It was cheap just to take away or shove in your handbag. And I also got this Revolution Velvet Rose Eyeshadow Palette. These colours are quite similar to the Morph palette that I got, but they've got a few more gold and darker reds, whereas they were a bit more lighter. A few more colours that are out of my comfort zone, because I thought I could try these and experiment with something a little bit cheaper before I invest in something a bit more expensive, because I might hate them and never wear them again. This was £5, which was really good. Next, I got my trusty Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is incredible. It was £4, which I think is the same price as Superdrug. And, oh my God, it's the creamiest, most insane concealer I've ever used. I was going to get the Too Faced one. I can't remember what it's called. And I had it in my basket, but then I saw that they did this and I was like, I'm just gonna stick to this. It's cheap and I know it's good. It's so good, I definitely recommend that. Next, I got this Intense Longwear Black Felt Liner called Renaissance Flick. I got it in the darkest color. I've not tried this before. I used to have their other liners that were a bit cheaper. This was five pounds. Um, I used to get the three pound ones i think and they were good but they dried up quite quick so i thought i would give this one a go because i don't really wear a liner a lot so i only wanted like a cheap one um just to wear when i do like a proper full face so it's got two ends to it oh no it hasn't it's got one end to it to finish off i got some lipsticks i was literally on mac website putting them in my basket it added up to like 80 pounds i was like oh my god i can't pay this so i had a look at what the revolution did and they actually had some really good things and they have really surprised me they're such good quality so i got this lip kit which is the matte lip kit in bow down so you get a lip liner with it and then a gloss well i think it's one of the matte glosses and that's in a really nice, like, dark nude colour. That was £6. So a bit more pricey. But if you compare it to, like, MAC, you get a lipstick and a lip liner. It came to, like, £35. So I thought I'd try this bit and see what it's like. I then got three different lip colours, which were all two fifty each, I think they were. So I got this really nice nude colour. I then got a bit of a darker nude as well. The other one was a bit more peachy. It's not going to focus. Whatever. And then I also got this really dark red colour. Just because I wanted to be a little bit daring. So I'll just swatch these on my hands. Oh, it's not as dark as I thought it would be. It looks a lot darker on that. They're really good, like, pigmented, though, as well. Like, for me, because I'm not really that much into makeup, I probably couldn't be able to tell the difference between these and MAC. And I love the rose gold package. So, these are the three lip colours. As you can see, the middle one's a little bit more peachy. And I'm really excited to try those. So, yeah, that is everything. Obviously, I spent a lot of money. But because I don't wear makeup too often, they should last me a really long time and I've got a whole complete makeup bag now and hopefully I can start getting into it a little bit more and wearing it because 
I look dead with no makeup. Let me know if you'd like to see me do like a full face with a whole new makeup bag, um, trying out the new higher end brands and first impressions of them. Same with the Revolution stuff, first impressions of that because obviously that's a little bit cheaper. So it's got more chance of maybe being bad. So yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on Sunday for another video.